Hi there everybody, Matthew Pearson, moderator of Technical Glitches here. Um, this is another video to show you how to do the Block 4 ICT skills, um, which is all about using your browser effectively bookmarks. The particular focus of this video is uh, completing a task using Internet Explorer 7, which I know that many of you have, but um, the instructions are not actually specifically written for that, hence the uh, video. To check uh, without any doubt that you've got it, you can open your browser, go to About Internet Explorer, and it will say Internet Explorer 7. Um, okay then, let's get going. Uh, first thing is how to um, how to set a home page. Uh, my home page at the moment is Google, but let's say I wanted to set that to be um, uh, the KZX100 web page. So I just go in here and I'm just going to find the web page. You'll do this slightly differently, but it will be basically the same. So there's the KZX100 web page. The instructions actually say you can type it in along there, but it's as easy to just navigate to it. You then go over here to the right hand side, tools, internet options, and you need to go here and put use current. That will change the address to the one there and you click on OK. And this is now my uh, home page, just to prove it to you, if I go somewhere else. So let's go to another web page here, uh, just a random one, which doesn't want to load. Come on. There you go. So if I go to another web page and then I click the home key, then I go home, which is good. Um, the next thing is uh, how to make a shortcut. The shortcut instructions actually um, ask you to use a help file, but when I used the help file with Internet Explorer 7, it wasn't actually helpful. It didn't have the right instructions. So to actually create, oh, I didn't want to do that. That's certainly what I didn't want to do. Um, to create a, a shortcut to your um, to your uh, to your to a, to a particular file on the page on your desktop, you need to do this. I'm just going to the right one, which is the instructions here for block four and you click anywhere on the page put your mouse down and do a right click rather than a left click a right click you get this menu and you click create shortcut and it says do you want to put a shortcut to this website on your desktop you say yes and it actually puts you a little icon on your desktop which you can double click to take you there you can't see it because you're not seeing all of my desktop but believe me when you try that it will um, it will work for you so that's how to create um, a shortcut. The next thing is uh, saving a web page. In fact, uh, I want to open that again because I want to save the uh, this particular web page. To do that, you go here to File, you go Save As, and you need to make sure that you have um, the uh, MHT file here, Web Archive Single File. And I'm actually overwriting it because I've already done it before, but that doesn't matter because you'll be doing it for the first time. Um, the important thing, though, uh, just because I went over that too quickly, when you do save as, is you need to make sure that you're saving it in KZX100 block floor. So go to my documents, go to KZX100, go to your block floor and save it in there. And then it's in the right place. That's important because it needs to be showing in that folder as evidence in your TMA. Uh, next thing we'll do is uh, organizing bookmarks. Uh, creating bookmarks is very easy in Internet Explorer. You just go uh, add to favorites. In fact, what I might do, I might just you load the sample site. So there we go, sample site there. Okay, so to um, add this as a favorite, I just go favorite, add to favorites. Um, I can call it something uh, different if I want. In fact, I might just call it NHS Direct because that's a slightly... Uh, snappier title and I just click add and now that's been added in there you see NHS direct which is good um, the other thing I can do is um, I can organize my uh, I can organize my uh, bookmarks so the way you do that you go to favorites you go to organize favorites here's a list of all my favorites and all the folders first thing I'm going to do is create a new folder and I'm going to call this block four um, and just click close and now what I've actually got I've got block 4 there but what I can also do with block 4 is I can drag relevant websites inside it so I've just dragged the NHS direct site within that folder so now when I go to favorites and block 4 voila there's NHS direct so that's how you organize favorites it's basically like creating folders and dragging the particular bookmarks or favorites into those folders and um, doing it that way. 
the next uh, the next step is uh, making your bookmarks portable. Now you do that by going over here to file and you go to import and export. Here's the wizard opening up. And I want to choose export favorites. I click on next. It's asking me which ones I want to export and I actually want to export all of them. So I've got favorites um, selected. If I just wanted to export my block four, I'd just select that folder, but I'm going to um, export everything. I click on next. It now is asking me to, um, it's going to export to a file and an address and I need to tell it where it's going to go. So I need to say again, my documents, KZX100, and you guessed it, block four. That's where it's going to go. And I'm going to actually call it BL4 bookmarks underscore MP. And the HTM is, is added automatically. That's the way that the website actually um, asks you to uh, name it with MP being your initials, Matthew Pearson, mine. Um, it wouldn't matter if you called it something a little bit different, but I'd say so your tutor can cl clearly see that you've actually exported the bookmarks. I would call it um, using that convention. If I click on save and click on next, then it actually creates my favorites. Mine's overwriting it because I've already done it, but they are actually there. So what I've got now is I've got on my desktop, uh, sorry, within um, within a, within the KZX100 folder, I'm just finding that now, KZX100, block four, here we go. I've got two things in there. I've got my bookmarks, and then I've got my uh, web page file from before. You will have a third thing. Um, a third file which will actually be your block four template. I've not downloaded that because um, guess what? I don't have to do the essay. I do have to mark it though. Um, so you'll end up with three things in there. So things are looking good. You've certainly got the two pieces of evidence here that you need. Um, the final thing is to do the um, uh, do the screen capture. Now a lot of people kind of mess this up um, even though you've been doing screen captures for a while because they take a screen capture of their whole desktop and because their window this window here is only a small part of their desktop their tutor can't see it because it's too small so don't make that mistake set up your screen capture properly so first of all um, click on folders there and then that can prove that you're saving it into the right place remember this is evidence that your tutor needs you can then reposition your bookmark uh, sorry your window so that it shows just that evidence. There's no point having a massive one because it's just going to show things that are not needed. So get it to about that size. So the key pieces of evidence are there. And then when I take my screen capture, I am actually going to um, I'm going to hit the out key, the ALT key, as well as hitting print screen. And that will take a screen capture of just the active window. If you just hit print screen, it will take your whole desktop and you won't get a good screen capture. So press ALT with print screen, and that will uh, capture the active document onto the clipboard. You then open up your Word template, find the right place in the document, and hit uh, edit, paste, or control, um, control V, and um, it will pay, be pasted in. It should look identical to this. So there you go. I uh, hope you found the video useful. Um, running out of time now, so I need to um, make sure I get it in before the... Uh, before the deadline we've actually uh, we've looked at how to create a home page we looked at shortcuts saving web pages organizing bookmarks making them portable and finally how to do the screen capture properly so that you get all five marks for the ict skills part hope you found the video useful and best of luck with the tma